Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my uh, gigalos and gigalettes. It's me, Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to make a video now talking about the joys of of Task Rabbit and something that separates me from the rest of the YouTubers all trying to get referral money off YouTube, and that is the willingness to put in a hard day's work and the fact that I actually put in a hard day's work. Right? Right. Manual physical labor with your hands right and like the cool thing is i don't know about you but i don't know if it's a mental thing i don't know if i don't know if growing up you know growing up in a in a blue collar you know lo, 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 what's the you know i wouldn't say we're a middle class <laughs> upper lower class <laughs> family something about like Putting in a hard day's work just makes me sleep so much better at night. But first, before I go into that, uh, gotta gotta give a shout out to the sponsor, Covert. Covert is a brand new resource for gig workers of all types, whether it be Uber and Lyft drivers, Amazon Flex drivers, Instacart shoppers, DoorDash delivery drivers, Grubhubbers, all that stuff. Cover is a resource that offers income protection in the event of collisions, hospitalizations, and deactivations, and maybe even a chance to get your account reactivated after you've been, yeah, after you've been deactivated. No guarantees, no promises. Uh, again, I know you guys don't like the, you guys don't like the, the, the sponsored content, but growing channels, this is what happens. Uh, so yeah, first first month free if you use my code. After that, the basic plan is seven dollars a month. I've got a few people that are using it so far, and most of them are quite happy with it. So give uh, give them a look. At, you know, give, give the link. You know, you don't have to sign up. Just give it a glance over. If you don't like it, don't sign up. Uh, and I've been slacking on on shouting them out lately, so. have to take a few steps to rectify that maybe i'll just yeah <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm not gonna do that all right uh so yeah yesterday was an interesting day yesterday i had five and a half hours of ikea assembly jobs the first one was at 8 a.m and it was seven minutes from my house seven minutes so i got over there uh the entire time i was listening to uh my, one of my favorite podcasts ever ever one i've listened to on uh, probably seven or eight times is uh when chuck Palahniuk, the author of fight club was on joe rogan i've listened to that one you know, from start to finish, probably seven or eight times. That's just like, that's one of my favorite podcasts ever, right? Um, so if you guys have not listened to that one, give that one a listen. It's awesome. Uh, and then, so I was back home. I left my house at 7.50. I was back home at 10.40. Yeah. And then I had a got notified of something what was that uh and then i had a uh moving job at 1 p.m that took 15 minutes then i sat around i waited i witnessed a shoplifting thing from where i was parked <laughs> that was weird i witnessed some shoplifting going on and then i got an i had another ikea job set for 4 30 and then i got an instant offer which i did which only which was cool because that one took me west and then where's the hell is this thing taking me um and then literally
literally where my instant offer block ended, it took me like 12 minutes away from where my next task started. So I drove the task, it was two Ikea dressers, and I'll, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not that good at furniture assembly. I'm getting a little better at it, not the best at it, you know, definitely not the best at it. Um, but, you know, I'm making improvements little by little. You know, you're, you're not gonna be the best at something right away. Uh, and I was there for three and a half hours yeah, yeah, I left at like 8, 11 or something. Um, and I got home and I was so fucking tired. I chugged a Gatorade, drank some beer. Bam was over. He was helping take care of, or he was helping to like train the dogs a little bit. So ate some, ate some dinner, chugged a Gatorade, um, chugged a water, like a lot of water. And then I checked my uh, my Whoop app this morning, and it said yesterday I burned 3,400 calories. Like, that's like, th that's probably three and a half or four hours at the gym. I mean, everyone burns calories. If you're sitting down, you are burning calories, right? You're not gonna burn as many calories as you would be if you were riding a bike somewhere. You know, if you were, going for a jog but like your body naturally burns calories all day right even even if you're doing nothing you're still your body is still burning through calories to to sustain itself to to you know to perform or whatever even though, even if you're not doing anything um but like that i looked at that and i was surprised i was like god damn i fucking i did a lot of work yesterday um, just you know turning those screwdrivers and everything like if you if you do any kind of furniture assembly or anything like that don't ever let anyone tell you what you're doing is not work it is work you are working you are working. and if you're doing that you know if you're if you're a tasker and you're doing seven eight hours of furniture assembly like more power to you because that's I mean for me my lower back starts to ache doing the, you know like bending over and getting you know screwing in certain things and um you know if you're a full-time tasker and you're doing furniture assembly you are working like you are you're doing you know <laughs> you're doing more than that you, more more work than you probably are aware of um yeah I couldn't believe it. And I woke up this morning. It's a cool thing. Like, not all of you guys are familiar with the Whoop app, probably, but uh, it said I got six and a half hours of sleep, but my recovery is. <sighs> as I talk about being tired, my recovery is very low because of the high strain, like 15.8 on, on the app. That's a really high strain because, like, there's uh, on the Whoop subreddit there's excuse me there's um there's like people that it's like a badge of honor to hit a 20 a 20 plus strain because that's hard work like getting to that level that means you like ran a marathon or something um the highest I ever got to was like 18.8 .8. but yesterday from just doing two furniture assembly jobs one heavy lifting job which was easy as fuck and you know, one instant offer. I fucking I had that was a high strain. So, yeah. So, all right, guys. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. I mean, calories calories burned, hard day, and a good night's rest. But like I said, I I fell asleep happy. I felt like, <laughs> God damn. I fell asleep kind of content, you know, when I ever put in that hard day's work, I sleep so much better. So yeah. All right, guys. That's all I got for this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.